Good morning, friends, and welcome to Friday, March 4th. James Montney starts us off with Rock of Ages. devotion is found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Will Willimon. Our scripture reading is Romans 10, 8-13. But what does it say? The word is near you, on your lips and in your heart. That is, the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart and so is justified, and one confesses with the mouth and so is saved. The scripture says no one who believes in him will be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all and is generous to all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. How reassuring to hear Paul proclaim, all who call on the Lord's name will be saved. Christians are those who, at least on a weekly basis in worship, call on the Lord's name. The rituals, the teaching, the proclamation of the church are training in the art of calling on the Lord's name. The trouble is, Paul doesn't say those, say those who have their names on the membership roll of the church or believers who are as morally upright as you or people who resemble you and your friends will be saved. Paul says all. All. John Wesley, the founder of Methodism, got into big trouble for consistently preaching Paul's message of salvation for all. Against those who said that Christ died for many, but not all, or those who said that Christ's love was conditioned on our ability to love God in certain ways, Wesley exuberantly proclaimed that Christ's work is without boundaries. All? All? How wonderfully reassuring to know that Christ has stepped over all the barriers and obstacles that keep us distant from his love. And yet, to tell the truth, it's disconcerting to hear that Christ has done for all what Christ has done for me. All? Surely that doesn't include horrible people who have committed terrible crimes. All must not mean those who are steadfastly cruel and unjust to their neighbors. How about the guy who cheated me on a business deal and the person who said that my sermons are boring? All? The very first Bible passage that the author learned by heart was John 3.16. For God so loved me and the people in my church who look and act like me, that God gave God's only begotten Son. Oh. Isn't that how the verse goes? God so loved the world. All. Oh. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help us to give thanks that your love extends beyond us to all. Amen. Our closing hymn is In Christ There Is No East or West, verse 4.
blessings to you all.